Hello and welcome to week three of August 2024's Coffee and Card using the Full of Life papers and the Wanted to Say dies. And this week um, I've used the designer series paper for the back of the sentiment and the sentiment itself. That was a bit woohoo. And then um, I've used this side of that paper, but I'm going to show you, I hope, how to get these squares centred on your mat. Um, so we're going to use that side today. No idea how it's going to turn out, so let's go. Right, so. If we just go to this, so you've got a standard card blank, so it's 14.85 by 20 scored at 10.5, and, and this piece is 13.9 by 9.5. I'll put the measurements in the description so that you don't have to write them down. So now, I went a bit funky on this layer. I'm just panicking that I've not put it in your kits, but I have, it's there. So this one is 9.8. By fourteen point two, so I've just made it two cent two millimeters smaller than I would do a normal one. So we've just got this very fine border here. So it's one and a half millimeters that border instead of the usual two and a half. It just make quite a big difference, I think you'll find. And then I've done this one, just the standard nine and a half by yeah thirteen point nine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my piece of paper. And I'm going to see where nine and a half lands. So if I put it to next to the second, the edge of the first square, we're going to end up with no white here, but a white strip there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it until, and I think you'll find if you look there, the nine and a half is in the middle of that green square and in the middle of that pink square. So if we trim off that little bit there, which is about about seven millimeters maybe but I'm going to do the first one by eye and then if I do the same on this side to the 13.9 that again will bring us to the middle of here okay so again if we just take a little bit off the top so probably slightly less vertically so let's see so if we say that is six millimeters so if we take six millimeters off the top and say eight seven seven right let's do that first so and let's just see how it goes so using this side here so i'm going to pop that on six millimeters and let's see I don't think that's quite enough, so I'm actually using the this guide here as to where that's going to cut. I am going to cut that at six millimetres because I need more of a square on this one than I do on that one, if you see what I mean. <laughs> oh. Right, so six millimetres off there. So that we've got sort of two thirds of a square here and this one is where I need to go about half so I'm saying that's probably about there and that is eight millimeters so I'm just going to take eight millimeters off there so from the one that you've taken eight millimeters we're going to do nine and a half and you can see there that we've come partially into a square and then from this side, I'm going to do 13.9, which is going to be there. So there we go, you see. So we've got no big white bits around the edges, which is what I want. We've got a piece left to do our die cutting in, which is what I also wanted. So, and there's our, our mat. So you can rewind and do that again, um, if you didn't quite follow it. Um, so, and I'll try and write it down in the description when I do it. We shall see how we go with that. <laughs> okay, so let's see how that looks on the front. Okay, so 
so there you go so you've got your nice little oh i really like that that is really nice okay so you've got your very narrow border all the way around the edge and then we're going to pop this on here so you can still see all the colors so that's cut out with the spotlight on nature circles which we love it's a bit like the um Oh, the everyday details though, you get millions of little bits of paper all over your craft room. That's the only downside that I can see out of it. Right, okay, so now I am going to die cut our words. So what I did was I took the two celebrates and I cut the words this way didn't I and then the backing that way so that you've got the only trouble with that is them two are going to overlap mm -hmm. is that what I did definitely did that that way I think actually do it slightly on there so you do have similar colors did I, do it? I did it like that there we go i knew i'd done it it's different to that there you go so you've more yellow and less green and the greens slightly different who knows let's just go for it <laughs> i did the stars as well so but also, if you don't like that, then you can go dip into your stash and get and just do it in white on the rainbow is another way of doing it. And then I also cut two lots of stars as well. So let's get the little... Let's see what happens, shall we? <laughs> so. And also, you have got loads of this designer series paper. So if you're not happy with it, you can also do it a different way. So what did we decide? We decided we were going to go at an angle. So I'm going to do this one first, then the other one. You probably can do them all at the same time, but I'm just a bit happier. That they're not going to move around and damage each other if I do them separately. Okay. So there we go. So there's our celebrate. And then we're going to do the words themselves. I am thinking, I might just, let's just see. As I say, the other one, I did them opposite to each other. But this one, I'm just going to do them sort of a bit across. Let's see what that looks like. And I'll pop some stars. I might only get one set of stars out if I'm doing it this way. But that's fine. all trial and error this <laughs> so and I think there's just so many different, different ways you can do this so let's see what we've got left right. so I'll pop that out put that there it'll be a surprise in a minute when we take it out I'm just checking have I got oh just yes I have got an extra set of stars just going to pop that there it just squeezes in don't move it's moved go, 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 go. it would help if i actually had it in the rings before i started turning them or in the rollers rather okay so that's that this out of the way. Let's see what it's done. Okay, so we've got that one. We've got you could always use the other side as well, you know. I think it would look a bit odd because it's got the white lines on it. Now I love that celebrate. Let's just see if it fits with this other one with its backing. We've got these two. I think we can safely say that's done. Oh, I like that because it really it actually stands out better than the way I did it first time 
cool. It is loud. <laughs> I'll give you that. Glue, glue, glue. All right. Okay, so silicon mat out again. As I say, it is really useful. It's on my list of sort of things that you do need to have as a paper crafter alongside good scissors and a decent trimmer. And to be honest, when I started out, I just had a good trimmer, a few stamps and a few punches. I didn't get my die cutting machine until I've been doing it for a while. It's a bit sneaky that I do have a Cricut, which I got before I got my big shot. Right Miss that E. Landed beautifully. There we go. I am liking that. How cool is that? Very nice. Right, so I then stuck this down onto the vellum, and with vellum, you want to minimise the amount of wet glue you use because um, it warps basically. So I'm just going to use. Um, some double-sided tape that I have in my stash and I'm just going to pop that it's an it's actually narrower than the paper this one so you do need quite a narrow one because of the letters okay and then I am just going to stick some of that underneath it doesn't want to go crack crack and you can do it there we go okay Very warm and humid, which could be why things aren't sticking as they should. And I just had my nails done. <laughs> so, and then to stick the the C down, I am just doing a few tiny, tiny, weeny drops of glue. There we go. So, and I just need to pop that across my circle which is there <laughs> okay so I've just put it across the center and then once you've done that you can decide how you're going to arrange it on the card and then what I've done is I've actually put dimensionals underneath so that it's slightly raised and I've put tiny ones underneath the stars as well. So these again, I'm just going to use little tiny dots of my glue on the back of these. Close. Now I'm disappearing off screen down here, sorry, there they are. And I did that one there. And then the other one at the bottom again. Tiny weeny dots. On each one. And I'm just going to pop that there. turn it over and get my dimensional. So I have actually decided to use the little ones. I've just got a little pack out here and I'm just going to stick little ones behind all the letters. Mm 
there we go. And then on the strip I've got here, where are my scissors? There they are. Just going to do some very narrow pieces to stick on the C. Hold it up, so I'll put one there, and then this one just there. So you won't be able to see it, but it's just holding up that edge of the circle, and then again, little ones, and I'm just putting them behind the big stars. might be too small. Oh, just there. So I think that'll be enough. Okay, so let's put it together. Stuff out of the way. As I say, it's just a one and a half millimetre gap on this one today. It's just a little gap. So obviously, if you don't want to do all the measuring, <laughs> just do this side. <laughs> well, you could just cut it off the square. It's just a, I'm not fond of the extra wide white bit down the side. That's a bit wider than all the other white bits. I like it to be starting on the pattern. There we go. And then we need to take all these backs off. going to pop that on top. So I think that's not quite as bright. I mean, it's still very bright, but it's not quite as bright as that one. And then I'm going to pop some of these on. So these are the big ones. I think I use two big ones for the stars. And then a little one over on the corner. Do the rule of threes and I'm doing it on that dark one there I think it might show more maybe who knows right so there we go so nice sparkle and you've got a white piece left that you can stick on the inside um, so it'll be interesting to see how you do with this one and what you decide to use so I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you all next week bye <laughs>